In this time of economic uncertainty, people are losing their jobs for a variety of reasons. Because of downsizing, because of increased foreign competition, because they're too sexy. A woman accusing a lingerie store of firing her for being too hot. Yes, the story of a woman who says she was fired from a lingerie company for being too busty had morning news shows busting out in giggles. What would tri-state area tabloids do without stories like this? The tabloids sure had their fun too. So hot, she was fired. Now it's a rack war, blared the Daily News. Rack and ruin, snickered the New York Post. But for the fired woman in question, this case is no laughing matter. When I was first told that I was, quote, too hot, end quote, and that my breasts were too large, I was shocked. Laura Node says she got tons of grief about her body at her former job at New York's Native Intimates, whose specialty happens to be body revealing unmentionables. Bras, corsets, thongs. Given their business product, I simply did not understand why I was told that I was, quote, too hot, end quote. Especially because I was covered up in the attire that I was wearing. At her press conference, she modeled the modest outfit she was wearing on her last day. But she says that wasn't good enough for her supervisor, who Ode's claims made her cover up with this ridiculous red robe. I was appalled when my supervisor suggested that I take down my breasts and wear my boyfriend's oversized t-shirt and sweatpants. I felt ridiculous and extremely embarrassed. Others in the office were laughing. Ode says when she left the office to buy something else she could cover up with, she got a call saying her services were no longer needed. We should not be judged by the size of our breasts or the shape of our body. Famous attorney Gloria Allred is representing Odes, and today Gloria told me they definitely have a case. We do understand that some of the owners uh, are Orthodox Jewish, and maybe they have their views about how women should be covered. She's also a Jewish woman. Uh, she does not share those religious views. So this is why we filed a complaint yesterday, a charge of discrimination on account of gender and on account of religion. The Native Intimates tell Showbiz Tonight they have no comment on the case, but everyone else is commenting about the woman fired for being too sexy. It made Bob Van Dillen of HLN's Morning Express review his career history. I've had that problem so many times. I've lost so many jobs. It's just it's <laughs> countless reason why. I guess that's the reason why. Yeah. And it elicited a ton of questions from the hosts of The View. Wait, Wait, something did else. she not have the breasts on when she went to the job? To, to... But at the Today Show, Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Kotb were a tad critical of Oates. Yeah. It does take Moxie, though, to get up and say, here's why. They, I'm so distracting because I'm so pretty that people can't can't work I, around me. It's just incredible to me yep. that people have the moxie to say such a thing. Yes, as Joan from Mad Men can attest, sexy women can sometimes have it rough on the job. Aaron Brockovich would also agree. You may want to rethink the wardrobe a little. Well, as long as I have one ass instead of two, I'll wear what I like. But it can sometimes turn into a serious legal issue. In 2010, Deborah Lee Lorenzana said she was fired from her job at Citibank for being too sexy. Her attorney? Gloria Allred, who tells me this is a serious issue. People need to work these days. It's hard to get a job in this economy. And we don't want women to be suffering because of a factor over which they have no control, which is the size of their breasts, for example. So the right of every able-bodied American to wear what they want to work has become yet another legal battle in the workplace gender wars. Who knows? It may be decided once and for all at the U.S. Supreme Court. Nothing revealing about their workplace attire.